Hello lovelies and welcome to a new art journaling process video. So this is a, a special kind of art journal video today. Um, I'm sharing this one with you. I know that I haven't put up many videos this week. I've fallen a little bit behind. It's been a bit crazy because of my baby's first week at school, but I'm hoping to get into some sort of a routine instead of just looking at the clock and waiting to pick up my babies, which I know is terrible. But anyway, back to the video. Um, I'm starting in my Dina Wakely Media Journal. Now, online, there is a monthly challenge called Show Us Your Media, run by Dina Wakely and Ranger. And they put up a prompt, and you're encouraged to do an art journal page um, reflective of that prompt. And especially do some journaling on the page. And, you know, it's, it's big on the journaling. Get back to journaling in your art journal. And this was my um, page for last month's prompt it doesn't go from the beginning of the month to the end of the month it's like um mid-month to mid-month and um i actually won last month so this is this spread that won me the um uh challenge last month now i say that loosely because it's more of a um you know they do a search and they they pick a, a random page so but yeah so i was very excited because i did win last month's challenge and um, I won one of the new, uh, the large mixed media journal, which I'm really excited to get because that was on my wish list. So I can't wait for that to arrive and share that with all of you. But yeah, so um, the only thing in the challenge is to use uh, Dina Wakely supplies. Now I'm using my journal. I've used um, some paint and I think I used lapis actually. Night is my favorite color, but I wanted more of a softer blue. I had no real plan when I started this. When I work with the Dina Wakely Heavy Body Paint, I like to just basically just use my hands a lot and just play with it and see what I come up with. So that's how I usually start, hence the, the um, yeah, just the, the smush of the paint. I did put some gesso down first because with the Dina Wakely Paint, if you put some gesso down, it gives you a bit of time to play with it before it dries fully and that's how I was able to um, use a wet one through that stencil and take some of that paint off which is a technique I love and I've, lo I've been loving working with silhouettes lately and this is um, one of my favorites but so I got my I put the, I used the night and I put the paint around the silhouette but then I wanted to do something more with it when I've been cleaning off my stencils lately, I find that I'm getting an image of that stencil by rubbing the paint onto the background, if that makes sense. And yes, I could have just grabbed the stencil and used the inside of it, but I was too lazy to get it out. So I decided to use, oh look, I haven't done it yet. Um, I'm going to use the outside of that and some more paint and just basically trace loosely around the stencil and then paint it in because, you know, I just wanted another solid figure of those silhouettes there. I ended up doing that twice. That's what I'm doing now. Um, what I did a minute ago is I have the fine tip applicators for the paints. I have it on my white and my black. And sometimes I like to use it as a writing tool. And that's what I've done. It does take a long time to dry, which is the only sucky part that I don't like. But when you're applying thick paint, that is going to happen. So this is where I'm just... Um, using that mask as a stencil so I can have a solid image of these silhouettes and I'm just using that night paint. Night is my absolute favorite color. I didn't think it would be a big deal. It's just a dark blue but I love it. I love that when you apply it it can be a very dark neutral but then if you use it in certain ways it can be like a a purplish blue. Sorry for the squeaking. My dog has found a squeaky toy. This is why I don't buy squeaky toys but yes. So where those two bits of blue come together, I'm just using a wet one and the end of my paintbrush just to define the edge of that silhouette a bit more. I've really been enjoying using silhouettes a lot in my art journal pages lately. I love having a big kind of focal image and yeah, I find that I've got these stencils and these masks and just using them in different ways. Like I do have a lot of pages where I've used the stencil of the silhouette as a focal image. Lately I've been enjoying using the masks and just painting a small amount behind them instead of blocking out my entire background and then having the this image that I get here. Then what I do, um, the lighting does change a little because I wait for it to dry. I have a very bad history of killing paint pens because I don't let my paint dry properly. That's where I love the Uniball um, gel pen because I haven't killed it. But I did wait for this to dry um, 
mostly because I had things I needed to do so I didn't get to finish my spread right away. But it did give it plenty of time to dry so that when I went back in to do my journaling, I didn't have to worry about killing any pens, which I'm very, very good at. But um, I love using the white Uniball pen I love the contrast of using the white pen on top of the dark outline that I have. And I've been doing this a lot. I just love the way it looks. Um, what I'm journaling is the quote that was put up with the prompt. Now, the prompt for this month was unstoppable. And generally, when a prompt goes up every month, there's an example page done by Dina Wakely, and there's usually a quote included as well. And the quote is used as, you know, a prompt for you to add some journaling to your page. Like I mentioned, the big on getting the journaling back in art journaling. So I'm just copying that quote around my figure and that's what I'm using with my journaling on the page. So that's it for my spread. I hope you've enjoyed my video and my rambling um, commentary. I don't know if I made a lot of sense, but this was one of my favourite spreads. So I really did enjoy it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye.